Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. Alright, we're getting back into some Red Dead. First time we've played it in a couple of weeks. Isn't this where, uh, what's his name? Irish dropped us off. We got a house here now. Um, I should have some, yeah, uh, a crate here to get some ammo. That's a little 19 bucks anyway. So let's see where we wanted to go. Looks like we're on our way over to see DeSanta. I don't remember who he is. Um, we also needed, let me check my uh, journal. We needed some... Yeah, prickly pears. Eight prickly pears in this little section of Mexico here. We also need to find a treasure in Nuevo Paraiso. I'm probably not going to do this one. Kill wolves with your melee knife. That's... I don't know about that. We could probably do this one. Kill five coyotes before any coyote damages you. So we've unlocked a lot of these that I didn't even realize we had unlocked. I'm not sure if I want to attempt those right now or not, though. The treasure I do want to get, the survivalist we can probably get here. I don't know if I have a map. Do I have a... Um, no, I don't have a survivalist map. Could probably get one though. Pleasant deed. And this is my treasure map for Nuevo Paraiso, right? Rio de del Toro River. But I think we're gonna go over here and see DeSanta and um, hopefully. a pretty horse. Hopefully they've got like a store there where we can buy some maps to unlock some of the stuff here. Well, I don't think I helped him. This is mighty generous of you, mister. I tried. Uh, what else did we miss? Got this one. There's something in the wagon? No. I don't know. Looks like it wants me to loot something else, but 
Oh, skin animal. What animal? It's not a horse, is it? This is a messy one. This is messy. Where did that horse just come from? Like, how did I not see it laying there? There's another one too, apparently. If I do another one, is it just gonna glitch in too? Let's see if it gives me a prompt for it. Yep, right here. I don't see any animals here, but uh... no, not yet, horse. I've got to skin something here. There you go. Hang on, I want to see this horse glitch in out of nowhere. All right, let's see what we're what we're skinning here. Oh lord, this is nasty. <laughs> Another horse was not there. All right, buddy. Sorry you had to see that. Hey, get back here. Get back here! Let's go! Alright, let's go see DeSanta and see what he's got to say. Like I said, it's been a couple of weeks since I played, so... It's gonna take me a minute to get back into the hang of things, but... I'm excited though. I'm ready to play. Kind of forget where we were in the story. I know the LR is, is landing. Want the ride, friend? Nope. I'm just going to park my horse right in your way. No problem, senor. I got to go talk to somebody first. Let's take a look around here. It looks like we can buy some stuff too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Hola, senor. Is this where the store is? Hola. Hola. Need one of these, please. So are these all different horses? Some of these I can get here. Let's see what we want to sell. I mean, I don't think we really need to sell anything yet. We're doing pretty good on... We're doing pretty good on um, money. Yeah, let's get rid of these horse hides. I don't want this. Kind of irritated that it made me take it to begin with. There you go. Hola. Hola. And then uh, I think I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'll, we'll wait till after we do this mission here, but then we'll activate our map so we can get those prickly pears that we need. Check my inventory again. I still have two medicine. Make it, John. So 
is a beautiful place. I don't know, uh... Again? Is that a stranger? He's like chasing after me. What do you need since you've been running after me this whole time? Did he? there too all right yeah I mean you didn't even really give me a shot at that one that's like oh that mission too. You stink. I specifically looked before I got off the horse to make sure that there wasn't any, any other ones coming. All right, now let's go see DeSanta. It kind of stinks with that mission because that guy literally chased me up the entire thing. Like I had no shot to get to that guy before Come on. he ran off with his horse. Like, come on. Escalera. I don't think it's you. Hello. What do you want, Gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? Yep. You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. So I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh. Relax. I'm mean, relax. <laughs> you? Sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome yeah. to Mexico, amigo. Funny joke. <laughs> And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no Hello. Tequila. <laughs> tequila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. 
A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. Yeah, but... The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what this is guy. right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> But it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes OK, I'm sure the coronel will help you. OK. I'll drink to that. Vamonos! Are you going to ride with me? Yep. No. We stuck his top. We must hurry. Expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You yeah. will hear a lot of words like tyrant and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering uh, a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Baby. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better, to pull your arm around a hungry man or to beat him until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these outlaws you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela, well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico yeah. is an easy place for men to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you, Americans. <laughs> yeah. We have a system yeah. of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, 
we help you, oh, that's no nice. one hides for long. This rebellion, it is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. Just saying, there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid. And like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. Really? If you ask me something, I'm going to give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose, in a twisted kind of way. Thought I could change something if I thought hard enough. Change what? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Evolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is going to seem good. That's true. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? No, they're just not going to be any worse off. It's only natural they're going to look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in me? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on the talking about freedom. Yeah, but if, you're, if you've got nothing and you lose everything, you still got nothing. The leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes, he's a traitor, a liar, a coward in a senate, a hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the of this morning than I ever will for that pathetic war. That's a nice wow. image. He is from a rich family, a man born in a golden cradle, who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that does is stand in a balcon giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. Reyes mm -hmm. wants power, nothing else. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He's prepared to destroy everything my compatriots have fought and died for. Just to hear people shout his name. Well, that doesn't bode well for us. We all only got three guys going up against this guy? Now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving Chuparosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very hmm. clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. If there's some bait they can reduce. Come on, the train is waiting. Follow me.
Like, where is this guy? Is he actually on the, on the train? You're not doing a very good job on your side. My side's clear. Well, this isn't good. I didn't make it. train keep watch for the rebels all right most of it seemed to happen on the left so I'm gonna stick on this side for now those. I'm not aiming at you. Alright, this is where it gets bad. Excuse me, dear. Oh, 
and get over on the other side. Where is he? Oh, dang it. Come on, this way. Not sure why my uh Let's go. My dead eye has always been like automatic. Like I just use the dead eye and go over an enemy and it automatically shoots them, but it's not doing that this time, so. Again, it's been a couple weeks since I played, but I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or... I don't know what's happening. Alright, the engine's doing okay so far. This is where it gets a little squirrely, I think. Okay. We're alright. Buddy, we're aiming for the rebels. Jeez. Train doesn't get to take much more. Hopefully that's it. Are they?
All right, DeSanta, I did your dirty work for you. Now what? Excuse me, senor. Todo bien, compadre. We did a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased. Uh, what? Oh, boy. <laughs> Why are you running quietly? Why did you not scream? <laughs> Why did you not shoot them? They only had knives. You're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá para muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Come on, bud. I mean, did I do it? Because <laughs> that looks pretty, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, come on. That was very glitchy. <laughs> we just stopped that train in like six feet. Winner. sure we'll be catching back up with DeSanta very soon, probably in the next episode, but for right now, I'm going to take a break. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for hanging around. I appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. Either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!